Hello. In this tutorial, um, I'm going to be going through some of the many f commands that you will see in FreeBSD. Um, I don't know if I picked the most important ones. I might have missed some. If I do, I apologize. But I, I really wanted to get something out on YouTube because, honestly, I think a lot of people, when they want to learn about something, they go to YouTube and do it to look for it. So, well, let me stop my babbling here. Um, let me go ahead and switch over to video of the command process I went through. So, enjoy. Okay. The first command that I'm going to show you, which will be, of course, in no particular order of importance, I'm going to start off with the PWD. Basically, that stands for for present working directory or print working directory I've heard it called but it basically will tell you what directory you're currently in of course when you're in console or terminal it's a little hard to see what directory you're in especially if you get in depth okay so the next command is uptime uptime basically shows you um, the current time and then it tells you my system has been up. My server's been up four days um, since uh, I believe it's 11:25 is the actual time that it was up. How many users are logged in, and if there's any load averages on the server right now, which there's none. The next thing we have is DF. DF basically tells you, this is how you check your hard drive space. Um, as you can see, I have multiple partitions. Um, I have my main partition, which um, I'm only using 3% of the ca capacity. And I, use, I have another partition which is my data storage, which I'm using 13% of the capacity. And here are the actual size numbers. Next is W. W is really for, I'd say, a network administrator as a server. Because this will tell you of all the connections that are currently connected. Here you can see this is where I have my GUI running flux box. Um, here is um, when I actually logged in to do some stuff there that I still have logged in. And here is my remote session that I'm in right now. I'm actually using dash W or W. Um, who is basically the practically the same thing. Um, preferably a lot of people like, if you just want to know who's logged in, who's good, if you want to know who's logged in and what they're doing, um, W is better. Um, last is basically, um, that is showing you the last users that were online and where they came from. The next command is basically the total time you've been logged in. Very similar to uptime, just very smaller. Next thing I like is what you call top. Top is pretty cool because this gives you a lot of information. This will tell you what's running, what's using what. This is very, very good if you're planning to be a system administrator. This is what you want to use. Um, I know some people bed this into their desktop on the server monitor if they have one. Or people who just remote in via putty and just have this loaded and watching it all day. Next is the S space AUX. This basically gives you a little bit more description on what's running. You get the full nine yards um, of what's actually running. You name.
Game Dash A basically gives you good system information. I'm running 3BSD 7.0-RC1. A um, lot of, you know, not much information in there, mostly for if you're troubleshooting and people want to know what version of 3BSD you're running, and you don't know. Next thing to look at, good troubleshooter if you are concerned with speed. This will tell you everything that's running. Um, I'm being a little lame and just moving fast. I don't want you to see exactly everything that I have open. So um, that right there is just telling you that information. Actually, oh, that's a different command. That's a Linux command. Next command is CD, which is change directory. Change directory is if you were to double click on a folder that's changing directory. So if we did cd forward slash data or forward slash, that would take us to the root directory. I can do a ls which lists the directory that you are currently in. Of course, you could do a list forward slash data and it will show you what is in the data. That doesn't mean you change to that directory. It just shows you what is in that directory. One of the things I always forget to use, and every time I talk to my buddy Eric, he says, did you read the man file? The man file is basically, in terms of Windows, the read me. Explains what the program is, so you can type mostly anything and you'll get it. But definitely, don't be like me. Make sure you do check that. Um really should. One other thing I like, when you get into some files that are very, very extremely long, and these are going to be mostly log files, but let's say you know you want to see the bottom of that log file. You can do tailspace-300, which is telling you how many lines to show, and it's only going to show those last 300 lines. Let's see, let me think of some other ones I can show you. Oh. Host name shows you what your current host name is set to. Let's see. It'll show you the shutdown reboot now. That will reboot your computer. That will shut your H dash H will shut down. Um, I think that's, that's, that's basically it here. Um, I don't see of anything else that, uh, you know, would become in glory here. Well, so there you go. There's the basic to it, um, of some commands. Um, if I forgot any, post a comment, um, you know, for people who are watching it to read that comment and see that. Um, if you're watching this on also on YouTube, um, please subscribe to me. Um, I always ask that. And post any comments on what you think of the tutorials. Thank you.